Welcome back to another episode of Martin James Designs. We got the new project bike. So I figured I will go over everything with you guys and let you know the exact plan for this. We're gonna do a full build series on this bike and it's also gonna be a budget build. So we're gonna be building this sporty out. I'm gonna be selling it when it's done and we're gonna to try to keep the cost to a minimum. That's the plan on this one. Um, so yeah, let's go over it and I'll show you exactly what this uh, bike is here. We'll start her up. Actually got to put her in neutral. bike has uh, 20,000 kilometers on it. I picked it up for a really good price. It's a 2007, so it's fuel injected. Um, it's an 883, so it's the smaller of the Dynas, or sorry, of the Sportsters. However, it does have the big tank. It's not the peanut tank, so um, they can carry more fuel, which is nice. This bike is absolutely stock. It's as stock as it comes. There's literally been made, the grips I think have been put on it, but that's it. Um, so we're going to be ripping this bike right down to the frame again and we're going to be turning this into more like a bobber style bike. Um, we're going to make it practical so you can still ride it, keep the rear suspension on it, um, but we're going to do all the paint, powder coat, relocate the electrical, speedo, um, all new parts, new exhaust. Um, and the bare minimum spent, that's the plan. So I figured what we would do is, um, if you guys come over here, you can see we have a whole bunch of spare parts from all the bikes I've worked on. So what we're gonna do is me and Jai are gonna start going through all of these parts and seeing what we can use on this bike and uh, see what, what other stuff we can get creative with. So we're gonna go through everything now. Yeah, those are the white walls that we were gonna use on your bike. We never used them. Hopefully use these, 160 and a, what is it, a 110 I think. Let's try to use those rims from your Dyna. See if those fit. So we have the white walls, the Shinko white walls, and these were the stock rims on the black sheet build we did. Um, so we're gonna try to use these tires, those rims. This is a rear fender from the Dyna. Yeah, we could uh, just use this. Yeah, we could use that fender for sure. Cut it here. Okay, so we got that. Next, we're gonna need. That's a Springer seat I ordered for the Outcast. I don't know if that will fit. It's for a Dyna, but maybe we can make it work. It should probably, probably work. And we can powder coat these springs and it comes with the base too. That's the metal base. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, we can probably make that work. Okay, so Springer seat. Okay, Jai and I pulled all the parts out, got them laid out on the table, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use them all yet, but I figured I'd at least show you guys kind of the plan um, of what I got here. This is a rear fender from a 2009 Dyna. I'm gonna be able to work with this, the shape of it. It's got a wider um, area for a rear tire, more than the Sporty, so we can get a wider tire on it. Um, these are the disc brakes or sorry, the rotors from a 2009 Dyna. Um, I'm hoping that these are gonna fit on these stock Dyna rims, which I'm gonna be able to hopefully put on the Sporty, make that switch. Uh, I'm not sure about the hub dimension or the axles. I'm still kind of sorting that out. Um, these were some uh, white wall Shinko tires that I never ended up using on another project. Um, so that's a 180, I believe, and this is a 110. I'm hoping those are going to be able to fit on here, and then we can get those on the Sporty. Because uh, I like the black with uh, gloss 
hub with the uh, chrome spokes. I think it's perfect just like that. Um, I found an old signal light and I was, I found a, a, a red clear cover and I was hoping I could possibly turn this into a brake light on the rear powder coat the outside. I'm not sure if that's going to work yet. Um, I got some shock strut mounts here that I might be able to use. Uh, we have this cool headlight. Um, it's like red. It's just an, a light off Amazon. I've used these ones before on other builds and they work good, but I'm not sure if that's going to fit yet. I have some uh, pegs and shifter from another build that we changed on. So I'm just going to use those up. I have the triple clamps that these are going to work good on the sporty because the sporty has this this piece here that's built in with the speedo and the, the whole front neck so this isn't going to work with the new bars we want to use uh, so i'm going to get that sorted out um, and then this is a strip light i've used these before on a few of the bikes um, that their signal and brake i'm not sure but that's another option then I also have a Springer seat that I purchased for the Outcast, and I never ended up using it. So I think I can powder coat these springs. I'm pretty sure this will fit on the Sporty. If not, we'll make it. So we're going to do like a Springer seat on that. And then, if you guys remember these bars, we were going to use them on the Black Sheet build, and we took them off and went with a different bar. So now that I have these, we're going to... Go with um, this bar as well for the build. Okay, I'll give you guys a quick overview of the plan in my head that's going to be uh, the vision of this bike. It's going to be a practical bobber, so it's still going to be comfort comfortable to ride, but it's going to look total badass. So I'm going to do an old school paint job on this bike. It's going to be um, like a lot of... Uh, House of Colors gold candy flakes with some pinstripe detail and a cool Harley Davidson logo, maybe some of the sun rays or something. Uh, I've been watching lots of videos of how to do that, so I'm, I'm totally excited to get my hand at that. Um, I'll also show you a few other things that we have planned. So we're going to be powder coating the entire front end. We're really hoping we can get these Dyna rims with white wall tires to work. Um, we're going to be relocating the signal lights, uh, new headlight. We're going to be completely changing the triple trees and handlebars, all powder coated. This will be all black. Uh, complete custom paint. Uh, Springer seat. We're going to use a rear fender from a Dyna, cut the struts, and somehow work all that together with new lighting. Uh, separate brake light and license plate holder, uh, new rear suspension, and then uh, we have pegs and shifter already. I'm hoping that are going to fit. We're going to relocate this Speedo, um, switch the grips out, and then we're going to put new exhaust, new air cleaner, and then everything is going to be blacked out on this engine. So I just want to get this first episode out, introduce you guys to the new project, give you an idea of what the plan is on it. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, uh, share if you guys like the content, pass it around. And this one's going to be an awesome project and I'm going to sell it after. So um, it will be up for sale. You'll, you'll see that as we progress through the build. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get started on it right now. Jai's coming over. So on the next episode, you'll uh, watch the teardown. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the next one.